If you go online or you go to your local head shop or sometimes even a dépanneur and you see a product called plant food or bath salts and you glance at the price and you see $30, $50, you might give this a second thought that maybe that plant food isn't meant to fertilize your home plants and maybe those bath salts are meant to bathe the inside of your body rather than the outside and you'd be right. What we have here are designer drugs, and therein lies a story. You know, humans have always wanted to feel better through the ages. They like stimulation, feel more alert in South America. They've long chewed the leaves of the coca plant. Well, in Africa, they chewed the leaves of the cat plant, K-H-A-T. Uh, the cat plant contains a compound called cathinone, and I've got a model of that molecule right here. Uh, Actually, molecular structure, it resembles dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is released by one nerve cell in the brain, transmits information to another. Basically, it signals happiness. When we are in a good mood, it, because there's a cascade of these dopamine molecules cruising through our, our nervous system. Well, if uh, cathinone does that, what about altering the molecular structure a little bit to make it even a better stimulant? That's what underground chemists like to think about. How do you alter a molecule to give an even bigger mental boost? So someone had the idea of taking cathinone and putting an extra methyl group on it. Not quite as easy to do in the lab as it is with the model, but what we now have is something called methcathinone. Well, that turns out to be an even better stimulant. Unfortunately, it comes with more side effects. So the law eventually catches up to this and says, no, this is illegal, you can't sell it. But then clever chemists say, okay, let's make another little change on it. Let's pop on another methyl group to give us 4-methyl methcathinone. Well, because it never existed before, it is legal. It's out on the street, it's sold very often as bath salts or as, as plant food, and uh, people don't really realize that this is a substance that has not undergone any kind of, of official testing. It's just marketed on the street because of the cleverness of some underground chemist. But once again, when the law finds out about it, they say, okay, that's it. It's illegal. You cannot sell it. Next step, they'll try to modify the molecule even a little bit to come up with something that is still legal because it's never been made illegal. Or they sell it in a different way. They put it in envelopes, call it plant food or bath salts, and put it out on the market. Uh, of course, also out on the market is the danger, especially because some of these underground chemists aren't all that adept at uh, concocting these substances, and they may be impure, and the impurity may in fact be more dangerous than the actual compound. So don't play around with plant food, don't play around with bath salts, certainly not when they charge you $30 or $50 for it. Uh, if you want real bath salts, go for Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate. You can put that into your bathtub, sit down, soak in it, and the pleasure will cause some of those dopamine molecules to cruise through your brain. You'll feel better without taking any risk at all.